Hey everyone, this is Rachel Hucker, Asia Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of For the Love of Delft, season number two, episode number one. And yeah, this show is back for another season. I really enjoyed watching season number one. It was just a fun reality dating show where himbos and daddies tried to find their perfect himbo or daddy. <laughs> It was just fun. And also the first season had some interesting conversations when it comes to the queer community with the contestants speaking about their queer experiences, especially when it comes to forming meaningful connections and how they're perceived by society and their own identity, their journey to be accepting of their identities and stuff. Yeah, season number two is here and I think we, yeah the first episode you just get to know about contestants that are taking part in the show and i'm not really sure if they'll be an elimination or not but uh, yeah let's let's watch oh aaron oh Toronto. Oh, i see it oh figure skater wow oh. oh so that's the second himbo who is he oh I'm 30, oh. so I'm from West Hollywood, California. Isn't he one of those Andrew Christian models? Or am I confusing him with someone else? Mm. Rico is the third person. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I live in San Diego. Mm. 27 years old. 27. I'm your dirty mechanic. <laughs> mechanic. Ooh, who's... Uh-huh, Daniel. I'm just trying to find my daddy. I'm in the streets because... Life is hard, but at the same time, oh, love is harder. Oh, Daniel's a character. Ooh. Don't kink shame me. What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Keith. I'm 25 years old from L.A. I'm just ready to find out. How many, how many years old? I didn't get that. 20. Yeah, I had to rewind. 25? What makes me a himbo is because first off, I'm sexy. 25? His ass moves like waters. If that ass don't move, are you really a himbo? Uh-huh. What? My what happened? My ass took my phone and ended up in ocean. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I see it. Your phone. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. My my ass took my phone and threw it in the lake. We put it at that. You know, like that's what happened. So my phone ended up in the lake. <laughs> You're trying to get it? Thank God. We've said the daddy. Who is he? Big. I Big wear though, because that's not big. <laughs> or is something else big? Oh, Jimmy. Hello, I'm Jimmy. I'm your daddy from Chicago, and I have been called daddy since I was twenty-five because of his deeply repressed childhood. I work for a fintech company, and I do. You know what, Jimmy? Planning and analysis for them. Call me, Jim. Ooh. Ooh, Nigel. Are you sure he's a daddy? Oh, he looks like a himbo to me for some reason. Oh, okay. Oh, content creation. Giving me himbo. Ooh, ooh, he looks young. Loot, looters, looters. I get it, how old he is, but he looks way too young. Way too young. I don't think I can take him seriously as a daddy. Ooh, okay, so that's Kane. I am from Australia. I am a yoga instructor. A yoga instructor? Yeah. But why does Aaron get to start first, right? Why does he get to have the first pick? What's that about? Question. How often do you do your laundry? That question had many layers in it. It was about how they smell. I get it. it. About how much money I get they it. Spend on clothes. It was about how they take care of themselves. I do. I do my laundry. I probably. I do it like. Honestly, don't worry. I'm gonna take my. I do it once a week, life. Jimmy. If it matters like to you. Two weeks. Hey, that's reasonable. Two uh -huh. weeks. Is Perfect. Two weeks is reasonable. I do it once a week. Do you pay mortgage? I pay mortgage. Call me. Oh, nice. You next, sir. Shouldn't you be talking about who's top, who's bottom? Remember in season one, there was one of the contestants? No, I don't want to. Oh. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Who are you? No, <laughs> <just> whatsoever. 
<laughs> but yeah, what are the contestants like ask? Are you a top or a bottom? What do you like to do? Like, do you, that's a very important question you ask. But, oh, <laughs> what? Now with this guy, when we just went to, you know, mingle, we're gonna get ready to, you know, be in our pajamas. Homeboy gave me his pajamas to wear. Now I brought my own. They just met. Ooh. Louder. What's up? What's up, dude? Ooh. That's not really a present to be given to someone you just met. Oh. Oh, Aaron swooping in. Yeah, stay, stay with Big Sal, I guess. Wow, Aaron. Uh, how are we getting it under daddy? I was like, this this, this is too small. The gas. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Anthony. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Navy. Call me, Anthony. Call me. Jimmy, you can call me too. We'll we'll figure something out. My name is Anthony. I'm from New York. I have a daughter, and I'm 40. Your actual daddy. He has a daughter. He already has kids. I'm like, I'm 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 ready. So I guess that's gonna be the himbo. Himbo. Yeah, the 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 other himbo. Not the other himbo. The new him. Wait. So both, so both brothers are kind of the same, huh? Sorry, Kane. Yeah, you, you gotta trust in Kane. Oh, Aaron's here. Aaron wants to get to know Kane, and I would be so annoyed. I would be so annoyed. Like, I get where L Lourdes Louders was coming from, but not not on the first meeting, not on the first meeting. Question. If you had your choice of who goes home tonight, who would it be? Stormy. Stormy. Who? Wait, that's it? That's it? She caused drama and that, that was it. <laughs> okay, so the first elimination is gonna be next week. Uh-huh, and I think more contestants will be introduced, so there's that. That was the first episode of For the Love of Dilf season number two. We got to know about our cast and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what fun the rest of the season is gonna offer. Let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below and until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.